Welcome to Tech Check Weekly. We're going to bring you up to speed on the biggest story in tech and investing each week. This week, it is a deep dive into artificial intelligence, but no, not search and Microsoft versus Google. That was last month. The battle now is starting to play out a layer down at companies that you might not exactly think of as AI companies. And it's all feeling very 2021, aka peak hype cycle, aka AI is being treated like the new blockchain or Web3 or metaverse. AI is uh, really the mover and shaker here. AI is, is having a moment. B of A unveiling some top AI picks. But there really is a difference this time. Ask anyone in the Bay Area, they will tell you that it is the real deal and it's already being deployed with real results. But that does not mean that companies with still unproven AI strategies aren't trying to co-opt the latest big thing in tech and racing to get on that bandwagon. So consumers and investors, well, they are left sorting through what is real and what is junk or what's flex tape, if you will. This week, no shortage of AI announcements, some hypier, some more legitimate. Snap entering the AI race today. Meta ramping up its AI strategy. The AI race is definitely on. Meta's always the big one, always the tech chaser. Mark Zuckerberg says that he is establishing a top level group dedicated to AI, quote, in the short term, we'll focus on building creative and expressive tools. Over the long term, we'll focus on developing AI personas that can help people in a variety of ways. Okay, which ways? Maybe some hype, some jumping on the bandwagon. But there was a fascinating, very real story in the Financial Times that Meta's AI-based advertising tool, Advantage Plus, is already significantly boosting campaigns. Here's one example. Agency iProspect says, quote, it's been very lucrative for us and we've been ramping up. For every $1 spent on a website ad campaign through Advantage Plus, clients were generating $7 in returns, nearly as high as before Apple's privacy changes. Another example, media buying agency Herman Digital estimates that return on ad spend was around 20 to 30% higher on Advantage Plus than other campaigns on Meta not run through this tool. These are important numbers, guys. Going back to the pre-Apple privacy days, that's when life was a lot easier for advertisers. But now we're seeing an example of Apple pushing back on AI, raising the question, when will the gatekeepers start getting in the way? Much like those privacy features from Apple that changed the advertising game for companies like Facebook, Snap, and Pinterest. Apple has blocked the latest update of the email app Bluemail, according to reporting from the Wall Street Journal, saying that it could show content that is inappropriate for users under 17 years old. And that's because Bluemail is rolling out an AI-powered update which uses ChatGPT to automate the process of writing emails based on a scan of the user's previous emails and calendar. Apple's app review team said the app does not appear to include content filtering, which is why it is pushing for those higher age restrictions. Blue Mail, for its part, pushing back, saying Apple is throttling innovation. We've heard that before, setting a debate up about how wild the wild west of AI chatbots and products will be. Another headline this week from Snap, the Silicon Valley joke is that Evan Spiegel is Facebook's best product developer because Meta routinely rolls out copycat features from Snapchat. True to form, Snap announced its own AI integration just a few hours before Zuckerberg did. My AI, that is their own chatbot within its own subscription service, Snapchat Plus. Evan Spiegel, quote, the big idea is that in addition to talking to our friends and family every day, we are going to talk to AI every day. All right, need another one. Zoom, a stock down 86% since its pandemic high. What do you do? Well, what about mention AI four times in your conference call prepared remarks? Here's the CFO on CNBC Squawk Box. We are absolutely making investments. One of the most recent acquisitions we did was Solvi, which brought us and accelerated our development into the conversational AI as part of our contact center. And why not? It did help the stock price, at least initially. It distracts from the growth issue, and there is undoubtedly a huge potential opportunity here. But there also lies the bigger question. Distraction or opportunity? Take Chime, a consumer fintech startup. It says it's going to leverage an AI chatbot to help engineers work faster. Sure. What about another one? Take a listen to Super Agent and Endeavor CEO Ari Emanuel on his company's conference call. Closing out our first full year as a public company, we are encouraged by our performance in 2022. We saw strong growth across our segments. Our business has proven resilient despite ongoing macroeconomic headwinds. But here's the twist. That was not actually Ari Emanuel. It was audio generated by Speechify, a startup specializing in AI voice synthesis. Endeavor has a small stake in the company, which learns voices and then uses AI to create recordings. That chat bot, Ari Emanuel, is responding to human questions with actual human answers during the Q&A. We'll let you decide where those land on the hype 
legit AI spectrum. NVIDIA, though, may be another story. It is a stock and company where the market is treating it like the real deal. The chip maker provides the computing power to run millions and eventually billions of queries on ChatGPT and crunch data in other ways that companies are going to need to cash in on AI. The biggest immediate winners are going to be the hardware, the picks and shovels, meaning processing power. Meanwhile, text glitterati continue to debate whether or not we should be afraid of these new chatbots. Former Microsoft CEO Steve Ballmer says no way. I have no fear. I have no fear. Why do I have no fear? Because between technological innovation and appropriate um, input and weighing in, if you will, uh, from government, I think we're going to get to a very, very good place. Elon Musk says yes way. Now I'm a little worried about the AI stuff. It's quite a dangerous, quite a dangerous technology. Um, and I, I, I fear I may have done some things to accelerate it. But before you get too worried about AI overtaking the human race, some cold water was thrown on the Microsoft Google battle this week for all of the fuss over Bing's chat GPT integration and so-called assault on Google's search business. Google actually gained market share in February. It ticked up month over month while Bing's share, well, it declined. That's according to data from StatCounter and supported by research from Bank of America. The research notes that Google continues to hold its own in the face of the biggest competitive threat the company has seen in a very long time. So that is what is important in tech this week. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.